Welcome fellow fixers back to the Frankie Fix channel and thanks to all the subscribers. The channel is growing and I appreciate it. We have some new equipment coming uh, thanks to a sponsor of mine and I'm going to get to that when it arrives. Uh, it's a new GoPro so I'm excited about seeing how that's going to improve the quality of the videos. But today we're going to talk about the snowblower rims. Uh, you can see they're in bad shape. They're from a Toro snowblower. Um, so in this video I'm going to just show you how to rejuvenate these wheels. And I'm not talking about just throwing some paint on them. You know, that's too easy. Uh, in order to make these last, and that's what we want to do, we want to preserve them, make them last, because these do come in contact with snow. So we want to make sure they're going to be in good shape and they're going to last. So we're going to do it the right way. And I'm going to take them out back in the backyard and begin using the wire wheel on them. Now I did take the a screwdriver and I did start to scrape off some of the loose paint. Um, these are equally in bad shape on both sides. You can see here. So I've got some assortment of wire wheels. I'm going to show you and I'll put a link in the description so you can buy the, buy the wire wheels. But I'm not going to talk through me doing the work. Basically I'm going to get started with the wire wheels. Get as much of that paint off as I can. Uh, then we're going to mask them. We're going to prime them. And then we're going to paint them. And hopefully they're going to come out like the wheels I did in my other video uh, for my Toro 622 uh, renovation. Uh, these are in bad shape, but let's see what we can do with them. Alright, so what I'm using here is a standard wire wheel for the drill. We have a cup brush, and then we have this cone style brush. And so we're going to get them in the drill and we're going to start uh, trying to clean this wheel up. Now ideally you'd want to probably take the tire off the rim. Uh, we're not going to do that, or if you had a sandblaster that would be much better. But if you don't want to take the rim off, you don't have to. We can still do it, uh, do a nice job on it. So let's get started on it. Alright, so now we're going to switch to the cup brush. I've tried to do below this lip here, and you can see it's coming out pretty good there, all the way down to the metal. So we're going to use the cup brush to get in the center here. Now we'll switch to the cone brush. What I'm focusing on too is the weld. I don't know if you can see that weld, how clean that is there. That was pretty bad. Alright, as you can see one side is pretty much done here. We've got it down to the metal. Uh, this side's a little bit rougher. We're probably not going to be able to clean that all the way down. But it still looks good. So we're going to turn over to the other side. Now this side has the stem on it, so you got to be aware of... It's going to be hard working around that. 
but just be aware of that so you don't take the wire brush and damage that stem. This is a tube tire. It's not tubeless. Um, so we're just going to work around that and get this thing going as best we can. Alright, and for the edge of the rim here, the easiest thing to use is this cone type brush on the side, like this. Okay, so I've sprayed some vinegar on these. You can see how it's starting to work at that rust that was left over. Just surface stuff. Believe it or not, as soon as you clean the paint off, it almost immediately starts rusting, no matter what. So it's important that it's quick, the process is quick, and you get them uh, with the primer on them as soon as possible. Uh, but they're looking good. I'm just gonna let these sit probably around 30 minutes. Ideally, you wanna let them sit in the shade or in your garage or somewhere to give the vinegar time to work. Because if you put them in the sun, that vinegar is going to dry up and it's not going to have enough time to work. So I'm going to let these sit for another 10 minutes and then I'm going to wash them off again, dry them, and then I'll do uh, some masking on them. And then right before I paint them, I'll use some mineral spirits, wipe them down with a clean t-shirt, and then they'll be ready to prime. So as I'm waiting for those wheels to prep up, and the vinegar and let them dry and whatnot. I'm kind of looking at ways that I can mount the wheels up. Now this, if you have a gorilla ladder like this, you see the holes on the side of the ladder, it, it goes all the way through to the other side. So if you had a pole small enough, you could get it through that hole and you could put your wheels on the pole that way. That way you can turn them while you're painting them. Now, I can't use this method uh, because I have a pole in the obviously it's too big so I'm gonna have to find another way and I'm gonna use this old picnic table with a C-clamp. Okay so the rims are dry and what I'm gonna do now is and this is for those people who are good at wrapping presents I am not but I will do a decent job on masking these but I'm just gonna basically take the masking tape and go around the edge of the rim first and use a screwdriver and just make sure it's tight against that rim because I want to get some paint in there and I don't want to get it on the tire. So I'm going to start that process of uh, masking off these uh, tires. best thing for these is to just work with smaller pieces because you're not going to be able to make the angle with a large piece. So just small pieces, probably about this long. And I'm just going to use the screwdriver to uh, push down the tape so that it exposes more of the uh, outside of the rim here. So I want to make sure I paint that. All 
All right, step one is done. Now don't forget the valve stem. All right, so I have some newspaper here. And I'm just going to take it this way and tape it all the way around. Doesn't have to be pretty. All right, so you probably don't want me wrapping presents for your Christmas party. I guess, I don't know, I guess it's for your in-laws. All right, so this is the final step before priming, and what I'm going to do is take a piece of t-shirt, clean t-shirt. I put some mineral spirits in a tuna can. I don't like using the can. I don't like contaminating the can. Uh, so I'm just going to use a tuna can, clean them up. We'll mount them up and uh, start putting the primer on it. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. I've put two coats on it. I usually wait 20 minutes between each coat, 20 to 30 minutes. And I'm gonna put this mat, I chose the mat because of the surface. Uh, the rust caused some damage to it, so although it's very clean, uh, the surface isn't perfectly smooth. So the mat will be better, I think, because it won't show any imperfections, or as many as you would if you use gloss. So I'm gonna start applying the two coats roughly about 20 to 30 minutes a part of this and uh, we'll see what the result looks like. All right, so I've unwrapped the uh, rims, and uh, I'm happy with the result. Uh, the ultra matte was kind of shinier than I expected it to be, so I just figured, why not just clear coat them? You know, I like to clear coat them anyway to provide that extra protection. So I put about three coats of clear on them. They're looking good. I'm gonna let them sit, probably for a week or two before I even put them on the, back on the snow blower, but. This is basically how to paint some rims. Easy video. You can do it. You know, it's all the prep work. You just got to make sure you prep them right. You know, get as much of the rust off as you can. And uh, that's about it. So if you like the video, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, leave your comments below. I like the comments. I like the feedback. Uh, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.